was building, which I mean, building was fucking hard. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It was really tough. But the other thing was like, it's just like the rotations. It's like, well, everybody's on this side of the circle. So do you rotate early or late? I mean, that was pretty much, mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah, but really the league, the league is like, I can talk your ear off. Why, I, like yeah. hold tab right now. Like I can talk your ear off. Like this yeah. matchup here is like, okay, they got a troll bot lane. All you've got to do is just make sure with the Yasuo uh, that you just pressure him for level two before he spikes two. We go in mm -hmm. and then they're on the back foot and just think about his dashing and play near brushes. Vagar cage, watch out for Vagar cage. One, two, three, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm not leashing this long. Because remember what happened last time. Mm -hmm. You leash too long and then we're just on the back foot the whole game. To be fair, I don't think last game would have changed. Like, I don't think we could have stopped their push. Like, even if oh, I was like playing and just hard shoving. And once you're slightly ahead, you can slow down. Now just auto him, auto Yasuo. Don't, do not let him keep for free. There you go. Just put a little pressure on him. There you go. It's fine. Stay right ahead of the push ever so slightly. No, not this fast. Don't move this fast. And you can auto them, not the minions. There you go. Just last it, just last it. Now go up and auto them or threaten an auto. Now you need to push because they're ahead of us and he's going to tornado the whole wave. Yeah, so just push, 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 push. We're pushing for two. Don't be afraid to Q. We really want to first. Okay, now walk up at him. Walk up at him for two. Ping on the way. Ping on the way. Ping on the way. There you go. Nice. Yeah, put pressure on it. Just auto. Yeah, auto. Good. Heal. Nice. Use your pot. You did okay. Try to shove. Try to auto as far as you can. Careful the Vagar. Just keep shoving. It's just ping the wave. You gotta, you gotta encourage this guy to shove. It's okay. He can take farm. The thing is, supports are scared because they don't, they don't realize like. Like they get 80 carries that bitch when you shove. All right, back up, back up and reset. Yeah. They, they get 80 carries that bitch when you like push the wave. So they're afraid to touch the wave. So you got to assist big. One of the hardest things about bot lanes, you got to shot call too. Yeah, Cause you gotta, see. you gotta it's guide your teammate. Yeah, double long, double long for me here. Long, We're dealing yeah. with the Yasuo, boots aren't gonna do shit. Grab pod as well. Cause Yasuo is just gonna dash through the wave and force on you. Uh, yeah. And you're just gonna have to like auto and wiggle. Remember that Yasuo is all about, he's kind of a test of your dodging. Yeah. You see those cues? You can dodge every one of those. Yeah. So if you get good, just auto and kind of sidestep hard 90 degree angles. Yeah. And it's really short, but once you get in that rhythm, it gets a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, careful the cage. Cage sucks. Back up. Back up. Yeah. Cage will park you in front of those minions and then... We'll take all that minion damage. Yeah, I don't think we can tank all this. No, no, this was good. To, this was good. This was good to let it just go under. This is good. Can you make our note? The cage is good. Yeah, poke, 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 poke. I like it. Level three versus level two side set. Right there, you scoot to the side, it would have been nice and clean. I just last hit, no need to shove. Shoving won't accomplish anything here. Yeah. Shoving doesn't accomplish anything because the wave's gonna, he's gonna get the wave regardless because of how low the uh, timer is. That was close. That was yeah. Good. Just last hit, just last hit. It sucks that she's shoving. Now hard shove or or back, but I would hard shove here because yeah. Morgana's right there and uh, I would just shove the wave, like E the wave. You have so much mana, just E it, yep. A backup cage, cage, cage in the Yasuo. Cage in the Yasuo yeah. sucks. Yep, just run, 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 run. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep him busy. Yeah, that's back, yep, dragon. that's fine. We can back here. Yeah, you just have to be very careful because confident Yasuo would literally just start flying at you in a straight line. Yeah. He's not very confident. Neither is the Vagar. Technically, the Vagar should have walked up and tried to cage you too. So they're both kind of bad. Now, what we're doing is we're just building bigger waves for defense. I, don't let him farm though. He can't farm in front of you. You got level him. He can't do that. Yeah. 
Oh, get him. W, turn it on. Good. Just last hit again. Just last hit. No need to rush. I'm big on not moving past the middle of the lane unless I absolutely have to. Because... Once we once we go to their tower, I like big waves so that we have big pressure. So like now you walk up confident and now you can pressure hard because you have the wave at your back. So yeah, try to land damage, try to push. Yep. Don't be afraid to try to land damage here. And just keep autoing if they're not gonna walk up, just keep autoing. Yep, it's perfect. Perfect. Now I take a plate if it's me. Because this wave is gonna be so big that they can't really fight you. So walk up, auto the, the tower a couple times. Perfect. Now you can back up. Just calibrate again. Yeah. Careful. We don't know where the jungler is. And now mid has prio apparently. So we have that problem too. Do I just keep shoving? Or no, 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 no. Just last hit. Let them come to us. Let them come to us. Look where Morgana is. I, I mean, she's on our side, but she's yeah. not in river. So... Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, and keep the wave here because it's favorable for us. Anytime, like, when the wave's in a good spot, we just want to keep it. Simple rules. Be careful of ult yeah. with wind wall. Yasuo wind wall is scary. Okay, so he flashed out. Uh, who's our jungler? Diana? She's mid. I'd shove. He just flashed out. He has no mana. I just saw the Diana mid. He's trying to freeze. I'd go for one more shove, I think, with all this vision that we have at try. Take plate, take plate. Try to auto a few times. And take the wave. Don't hit the tower, just take, try to take the wave. Yeah, this tower is doing pretty good too. Yeah, let's reset. Let's just reset it. Let's reset it. Yeah. I know he's really low, but like, I just feel like it's risky yeah. and unnecessary. We're in good shape. The game's in no rush. It's not like last game where we need to do anything crazy. So probably boots. Good. Pink is good. All right, we're back to it. Morgana's killing it. Excellent. Move your camera. I don't want to look at. I don't want to look at the grass right now. I want to see what's going on up there. There we go. I just want to know. Yeah, I want to know what's being used. That. I want to know. You know what I mean? I just want to. Yeah. I want as much info. League is just an information collection game, right? It's like the United States with all our intelligence gathering, right? We need to connect. We need to get as much information as we can, so that we can leverage that later. Now, I, I would probably, again, just last hit. <laughs> okay, Yasuo's mid. I shove. I shove. I don't know why he's mid. Vagar's mid. Shove. Shove. Use everything. Use your E, too. Like, everything. Just get it out of here. All right, let's take a plate. Go. Quick, quick, quick. We got to catch it before they're going to come to bottom. We got to take a plate for that. They're running to us. We want one plate at least. You can back up after you get the plate. We don't have to take the wave. Okay, back up. Good. <laughs> That's an interesting flash. Rotate. Look where Morg is. Look where Morg is. You're good. You're good. The wave's under tower. You can fight. You can fight. You can fight. Oh, she's doing that. That's cool. Uh, let's rotate the drag. Help her clear this vision. Careful. It's a 4v3. It's a 4v3. Okay, he said no W. Put a pink on our head, just so that we know that we're, like, safe. Put, put your pink, like, right on top of our head. Right, right, right. Or in there. That works, too. That works, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go out of this guy. Back up, back up. You got a flight coming. Yeah. All right, let's reposition. Now we can just walk it in. Don't get engaged. You have ult. You, you can counter their engage yeah. at any time. Just don't get engaged. It's not... This isn't very difficult. You just can't be engaged on. Do you understand? Yeah. Wait out the wind wall, and then you're good. Yeah, now you're good. This position kind of blows. Use your pot, use your health pot. Okay, good. She has plants here, you're fine. Swing back around the bottom, uh, well, after it's done. Swing back around the bottom, go. Around, 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 the other way, up, up, yeah. You can't do that, because the wave, they'll zone you off, and you won't get to your wave. Like, if they're good, Vagar and Yasuo would just block you, and wouldn't, they wouldn't let you come in.
Now I would shove. I don't believe the Oscar's gonna be in that bush ever. So I would shove. All right, press B. That's good. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> I was in the bush. What a fucking oh. dweeb. Careful. Yeah, careful. You can outplay him. It depends on your confidence. If you dodge a tornado. Dang. It's fine. No, I'd walk it in. I'd shove. If we stay, we shove. No, 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 no. He just used wind wall in front of you. You shove. Okay. Okay, is that here? Or no, that's not set. I just saw the red. Look at, look at the Zyra, though. Oh, okay, I see. Careful. Careful. We're staying. Oh, that's unfortunate, Zyra. Okay. Yeah, we'll just back up. Let them shove. Um, We could reset. The wave's equalized. We can reset. Reset yeah. now, though. Do it now. Yeah. Probably gonna shove though for that. But... Um. Yeah, we can stay. We're fine. We're just backing to see what they do. Yeah. They look like they're not gonna do anything, right? I would just R the wave. Back up and R it. That's fine. That's fine. Look him up. You got heal. You're fine. And mm. quite get in one yeah, more yeah. on him. Yeah. The um Yeah, that play was like rugged. I think R should have came sooner though. Because you yeah. let you because you basically let the Oswell walk up to your tower was the problem. Yeah. Even if he wind walls it, the minions would have still died if you are sooner. Yeah. Yeah. You have to recognize like basically if it's, if the wave goes under tower, you're dead. That's why I didn't have you back down. Go ahead and grab a dagger. It's fine. Um, that's why I didn't have you back down because I was like, if we just are, it's not really gonna matter, but it just came a little too late is all. I didn't explain my intent well enough, I think. Okay, this guy is doomed. Nice snag. Cool. Let's shove bottom. Let's just ping bottom and let's start cruising. We're gonna shove this wave and then we're gonna rotate to mid. Knock down that tower in mid. Shove fast and get us out of here. I don't know where Zyra's going. I'm a little scared that Yasuo's going to run at us, so start shoving quick. Auto Q. Yeah. Use your Q. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. You got to use everything. You got to, like, E here, too, in my opinion. Now run. Run, 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 run. You're not going bottom. No, no. You're oh, going yeah. to mid. This is over. Yeah, this is over. You just go A ram now for, for, for a while. Let them have to deal with that. We're not going to push deep as misfortune. You may want to wrap around. I wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're here now. All right, they have nothing. Oh, the wind wall is still up. Okay, Zed's going to bottom. Let's push up, push up, push up. Someone has to go to bottom, so push up and try to find damage. Yeah. Yeah, just clear the wave right off tower. Don't, yeah, just cheat right up there. Yeah, get right up there. You're all right. Remember, Zed just moved down. They were low. This is good. Now let's take tower. Take tower. Let's just ping it. All right, go to scuttle. Go. Put a ward over this wall below you. Just want to see. Keep moving to scuttle. Yeah, so it's going to shove. So we've got to wrap around and collect the wave after. You can give it to her. She gets more. Okay. Well, never mind. Now, careful if he so back up through the wave, like go towards tower, move towards tower. E on your head, he might fight you. Yeah, E on your head. You're good. You're holding your E. I don't know why. You're just playing yeah. with fire. <laughs> You're okay. Man is not that that big a deal in this game. I promise. So here, I would just clear it. I would clear it. I wouldn't freeze. Careful of pushing fast here, though. Yeah. Be very careful. You have your E, you have Gale Force. I'm not afraid. I'd walk up. I'd poke him. <laughs> More guns right there. I'd poke him. You have E and Gale Force. Like, yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you're fine. No, you shouldn't flash first. Should be Gale Force first. Gale Force out of that first. Yeah. Because what, what has a longer cooldown? Flash or Gale Force? Flash. <laughs> exactly. So that's why. So go ahead and shove, 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 shove. We're not going to be wanting to fight that bad. I would literally touch the brush and back here. I'm not rotating. I don't care. 
I'd rather you just go and build towards your uh, bloodthirster. Mm, look, they're all going to go for York, so I would hard shove. Think about it. They're all going to him right now. Just shove. Go, go. Try to hit tower. He's going to die, so we've got to get value out of it. You already know no one's looking at you. Like, you can just tell looking at the map. He didn't even die. Yeah. Just keep bottoming. You're level nine or you're level ten, you have Gale Force. Yeah. Like push, push, get up on the wave. Don't stand so far back. There's no need to. We're not afraid of anything. You've gotta you've gotta understand this is a timer. Like we're allowed to, like right now mm -hmm. I'd be pressuring him. I'd be pressuring. I'd be hitting tower, threatening, like I wanna limit test. I wanna learn. I don't wanna just coexist. I'd go to bottom. Go. Go get the wave at bottom. Drive by chickens. Check chickens. Cool. Take them. Good. Big chicken. We don't need all the smalls. We care the most about the big chicken. We could take like, we could leave one small just to be a dick. I see a rise. All right, let's go to bottom. Run. Is red up? You're not looking. Make sure you check all these camps. Is red up? Nope. The hell is Diana doing over there? It's weird. We could fight her. You're level 11. So yeah, we're going to walk right at her. Uh, I'd still test. Yeah. Get Gale Force back. Now auto, auto. You can't give up. You can't give up. See? Be very careful because your kiting was very slop there. Yeah. You need to step into it confident. I would probably try. I'd try to shove. No. Okay, run, run. <laughs> e behind you. Just E behind you quick. Yeah, I think you're safe. Just keep moving. Oh my fucking God. This guy's pissed. I don't know when his W's um, back up. I think if he, he has... can outrun me, though. Okay, we're dead. Dang, he got his ult <laughs> off. That's as soon as you see him, E and run. But the good news is he, he at least has to ult, and he used his bullshit item, Prowler's Claw. I would, I would go for attack speed dagger, and then I would go to dragon. So you should be thinking about, look at when dragon's up. So about 90 seconds out, I'm assist pinging it now. To put it into mm -hmm. your team's head, like to brainwash him. Now go put a pink yeah. in the dragon pit now, and then put a sweeper in the tri brush at bottom. You'll grab the bot farm, and then you'll rotate back through. So yeah, I would put a uh, pink here, and then I would clear that pink in the tri. You're basically doing the support's job right now. Then you go to bottom after. Support's supposed to be doing the same thing, but all supports are really bad in the Lilo. Like the. Any support, like if a, if a support's bronze, that means he's iron. If a support's silver, that means he's bronze. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's just what it is. The roll is a little inflated. So now you're going to shove this all the way through. And then you're going to go to, yeah, scuttle to get 12 and then drag. So secure. All this is, is an insurance policy. I've been in this game for 20 minutes. I want to win, right? Yeah. That's how my brain works. I don't fuck around. Once we get a lead, I'm planning on winning. Like I do all the systematic stuff to win. I would go dragon and then I would sis ping Baron. York's gonna kill you also. It's not gonna be much of a contest, so. And then I would just assist ping mid. Top auto shoves, uh, Yorick one, one fours with the auto shove at top. So he goes bottom and it's basically like there's three people bottom cause he's so fed. And then you just auto win cause you got a lucky top. So we just play it out this way. You should challenge him just for sport. I mean, you have Gale force. Careful of that you never step on that thing. <laughs> that shadow. Yeah. Don't step on that. <laughs> cause he, he could actually pop you for that. I would limit test a bit. I would want to auto. You've got Gale. I would want to see where this goes. Yeah. Use A left click. That's the key. A left click. That's why you're missing autos there. You know how to do that? Yeah, I have been found. But I'm not uh, in a good... Uh, I'll show you some stuff after this game since we've played two already. Anyways. Do you have a second monitor or no? I do. Cool. So, what do you think you need to work on? I don't... Let's see how to phrase this. I'm not very good at using the wave to my advantage. Or knowing what 
I need to do to get so, an advantage with the wave. When I was when I was guiding you around, it was mm-hmm. that different than what you normally do. Um, I definitely don't freeze as much. I probably overshove the wave. Okay. So um, I'll I'll go over some some things with you. I just want to go and and basically get you into some of the mindsets now that I've watched you play and I'm seeing your tendencies. Mm-hmm. As a newer player, like I said, there's not a lot of personality yet in what you're trying to do. I think you're very timid considering how new you are, and I don't think your mechanics are as bad as you're acting like they are. Mm-hmm. Because you tend to shy away from plays. I had to like yell at you and goad you into like trying to get things done. I feel like you're very flippy, even though that you could very easily just outplay people. But there's a couple things that are worrying that I want to fix. And that's why I'm loading this up before I let you go, because those games were pretty short and I want to just go over a couple concepts. So what I would recommend is you put me on a second screen and just follow along. So practice tool is your bread and butter. This is your Kovacs, Mm -hmm. for lack of a better... No one uses practice tool, okay? I've got people in fucking high elo that barely touch practice tool. I've brought I've yeah. brought people in here that have played Challenger multiple seasons and I start showing them all the hotkeys that I know on practice tool. They're like, holy shit, you know all these? It's very useful. It's not it's not to be understated how useful it is. So the first thing that I need you to start practicing right away, let's say for example, in, in, in basically what you need to recognize right now one thing i'm noticing is that targets are outside of your reach and you'd be in auto range but you're just clicking Mm -hmm. around and trying to click on them this is really bad and it'll never give you the perfect distance Mm -hmm. this is what you're looking for this is imperative that you figure out i use a left click i don't know what you have set i can give you all my Mm -hmm. settings if you want yeah i have it uh set to just my a button so i can I normally like to do this. Go to press escape. Go to um, go to hotkeys. Go to player movement. Yep, and then do this button here for A. Now press OK. Now hold A. That's a very distinct difference. Why do I mm-hmm. have you show that? Because I want to know the range. Yeah. I want the range. It's not good enough. You, you, our eyes, like we're humans, like we're not robots. How are you going to know that range off the top? Imagine if you swap champions. How are you going to know the range? Mm-hmm. This is very important that you understand this. This is why. This is what I saw the last game. I would limit test a bit. I would want to auto. You've got Gale. I would want to see where this goes. Yeah. I saw there's two targets here. You're fed, and you're afraid mm-hmm. to auto them. And you're not, and I could tell that you weren't trying to auto them because you don't know your range, but you could have just did this right here. Now, Mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to smash Y and T. I'm just going to spam those buttons together. What that's doing is it can be a fuckload of gold. So max your level out. Go ahead and buy yourself a Gale Force. Buy yourself a, you know, a Bloodthirster, you know, maybe a an ie or whatever right so so you have some damage you have some some speed now all right you're gonna press shift x and then shift c now press shift s and click up here press control shift i now press shift b and spawn some dummies so mm, one of the things i'm noticing with you is you're not stepping Mm -hmm. into anybody with confidence push push get up on the wave don't stand so far back there's no need to we're not afraid of anything now i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain how league works and simplify it for you so every time that you duel somebody it's actually a pretty simple equation for ad carry it's not as complicated as people think once you're big and you have items all you really have to do and this is why i love gale force and loilo the only skill check that you need to have in your brain once you start getting big is i out level that guy or we're even level i want to try to outplay him you're not going to mm-hmm. know every matchup and who beats who and what beats what until you put in the time. So uh, let me give you some examples. Yasuo, how do you think we outplay him? You, let's see, I was thinking thing about this. You make sure your wave. Um, Don't worry about the waves. Um, Straight up 1v1. Well, let's see. He's going to try to come up. He's going to try to eat you. Right, yeah. so it's about I this range. I don't really know the, the magic I know, I know, well. it's fine. No, yeah. this is why I'm doing this, though. Yeah. I'm showing you how complicated it is on purpose. This is a this is a 
I have a reason for doing this. So basically what I'm trying to get you to understand is that you're not going to know what the fuck mm -hmm. is going on. You just can't. The game is too deep. It's too diverse. But I'm going to simplify it for you. Look at your champion. Think what, you know, what skill shots do I need to dodge? And my gale force, I'm going to use that defensively if I have to. So when you approach mm -hmm. somebody, you need to keep it simple. Simple and confident is key. Okay. Simple and confident. Yeah. Just say, I outlevel you, I, I'm, I'm beating you, and you know my team, let's say that we look on the map and everybody's over here and fucking around and there's some guy up here, right? And you wanna duel him. You just need to step in, A left click. If he goes on you, kite back like that, right? So let's say he goes on you and you gotta kite back like this, right? Mm -hmm. But always use the A left click to move. See this? Yeah. This is gonna make you, this is why I look so mobile in games. If he closes that gap, then resume. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you would, you would auto, you know, use your Q or use your whatever abilities make sense in the fight, right? If he closes that space, resume. Gale force resume. Do, do you get what I'm trying to teach here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're not confident because you don't realize that you actually just can get out of jail yourself, even if mm -hmm. they start beating you. But you're not pushing yeah. that boundary. That's what I was talking about when you have no personality in your game yet. Yeah. Because if I see when I challenge people, I'm challenging them under the like, say there's like a tower right here. I know they can't fucking kill me because yeah. I can literally just go, all right, I'm losing whatever. Right. And if I'm if, if it's close, I resume. Yeah. This is the key right here. That's the move that you're looking for. Just confident sidesteps. Mm -hmm. If they start winning, resume. Yeah. I need this to be in your brain when you're playing alone, mm -hmm. when I'm not in your ear. You can also spawn a Lux bot for this. Uh, I don't know where she is. But Lux will give you some, some abilities sometimes too that you could try dodging. I like... I, I, you probably could use minions. So if you press control mm -hmm. shift I, she'll come off a tower and she'll do her thing. And I'll show you this real quick um, with the minions coming. Hold on. So you can practice that, that movement. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And get used to the idea of like walking up. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to do it versus humans. And there's a very simple rule when it comes to dodging human skill shots, like human players. Um, visualize to the best of your ability when you're going to stress out your opponent. Okay. So we've got to figure uh -huh. out when our opponent is going to feel pressure. Is our, pre yeah. is our opponent going to feel pressure here? No, he's going to wait. So about until, right here. Yeah. That's he when he's going to feel pressure. Right if you run at him in a straight line, what is he, what do you think is going to happen? He's just going to throw uh -huh. a skill shot at a straight line. Yeah. This is my bread and butter move for smurfing in low elo. This. Mm -hmm. This is it. Wherever they're at, right? All I do is I imagine, and I, and I use the term uh, on one of my videos, I said like Ned Flanders movement, like stiff old mm -hmm. white guy movement, right? Like white guys dancing. Like we don't move like this, right? We just, mm -hmm. that. That's what we're looking for. Yeah that this I is the move i don't have a tendency sometimes when i know they're gonna throw a skill shot is i'll do this right and i'm not actually moving anywhere it just looks like yeah damn. yeah Instead you have to be like like straping and like long i want i want the skill i it's not enough to dodge the skill shot we have to dodge mm -hmm. and close yeah dodge and close this is a very important move that i want you incorporating when i'm not in your ear dodge and close because this is the only way that you can exploit these bad skill shot players. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing with bad skill shot players. Every champion in league has a radius around them, right? Like a circle around them. When you encroach on that territory, they just throw. They don't think. Mm -hmm. If you're confident in, in encroaching, they'll just throw it every time. You watch. Yeah. You could yeah. literally just be like, he's going to throw an ability right now. That's how you watch my gameplay. I will do this. You will see me do this constantly. Like I do this nonstop on people all the time. 
the only way you get better at it is by repetition and trying so every champion you face start making kind of like an internal monologue about like okay what is exploitable is there anything that's exploitable in his kit so mm -hmm. let's do some like trivia uh Zareth, exploitable or no uh after he lands uh whatever his stun is I'm not sure. i would say that's completely exploitable yeah. not yeah. even just in the context i'm just saying exploitable like can we dodge his shit yeah it's i mean it literally like throws it on the ground like where it's gonna be exactly so with Zareth, all it is is just a big old you know dance right can i yeah. close that space on him or no and thankfully with gale force you could always once you have gale force you just you step at him right sidestep and then once you close that space go fuck him up mm -hmm. now pantheon exploitable or no uh you have to make him like bait out his like shield i would say not exploitable at yeah. all yeah and the reason i say that is because his stun is point and click you go into yeah. his range he's gonna stun you that's it yeah there's no unless his unless his teammates taking his cooldowns away which in that case yes but mm -hmm. if you walk up to a pantheon you don't get to do this shit where you <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean there's no there's no wiggle there's no trick it's just mm -hmm. oh you're getting stunned and it's gonna hurt the end yeah um master e exploitable or not uh, not really. Nope, not at all. Because yeah. his Q is just targeted, right? Yeah. This is how I want you viewing the game. I mm -hmm. want you to start asking yourself whether or not your laners or whether or not your opponents are actually exploitable. It's not yeah. good enough. It's not good enough to coexist. That game, like that first game, now I'm not saying that you're going to be able to carry it right away, but I promise you I could have carried that game with Misfortune. Mm -hmm. I don't even play Misfortune. Yeah. And the only reason, and I'm not trying to swag on you or anything, the only reason is this move. Yeah. Because I know, and you just have to trust me on this, all the, it's like from like iron to like gold, it's pretty much just mechanic check a lot of the time. Yeah. Like you can mechanic check people. As an AD carry, this is all you got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like let me give you an example so when i play top lane let's say that i'm in top lane right now um and i you know there's a reason that i don't play 80 carry a lot and i despise the role right and when i do play it i'm very like bitchy about it even though, even if i'm carrying i'm just like i, I hate this role because mm -hmm. you're limited in your xp and our options are limited yeah so our agency becomes level two all-ins you know maybe level up all-ins you have to ping your support a lot more Mm -hmm. um, because you have to encourage him. One of the things I tell people all the time is the level two all in drill. Let me show you that real fast. Have you ever seen it before? I, I've seen it like once or twice. I haven't really ever looked into it much. Because this is a very important drill. I'm not mm -hmm. just saying that. It's very important that you understand it and that you you. I am I I I really do feel like league is closest to poker and games. And playing poker and getting good at it is almost like a religion, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, and I mean that. I'm not a religious person. I'm saying that the ideas, if you trust them and apply them, the game rewards you instantly. You will see it instantly. You'll be like, holy shit, he's right. Like, mm -hmm. let's say, for example, we spawn a practice dummy. We've got our luck spot. Spawn the minions. Here's the rules. You're going to try to get the cleanest level two you can. Lux is going to throw abilities at you. She's going to be an asshole. You don't shoot the Lux until you're level two. Okay. Our goal is to get level two. But the key with the level two is very simple. We have to make sure that we are slightly ahead of our opponent. And you have to ping on the way as you turn level two. Okay. This is very important. So what you do is you auto the minions once. And then you stay just ahead of the Lux as best you can. Mm -hmm. And then practice your level two all in. Don't touch the Lux. Just make sure you're ahead of her. Don't let her pass you. If she autos the wave, you auto the wave. Set sail. So you see she autos the wave or use ability on it. See, I'm just in front of her on the push. Mm -hmm. Now, all you do. So you're just doing this, right? This is the drill. This is it. 
And all we're doing is practicing level twos and her and just harassing. That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. You're pinging because your supports will be pussies. This is not an yeah. exaggeration. Your supports do not understand. As you turn level two, you must sell it. Like, or if there's, you know, the other alternative ping, pinglish is like a, a, a whole thing. Like I could talk your ear off about it. That's why I had this whole boot camp thing that I made and everything. So you can ping the dummy, right? You mm -hmm. can do that. So you can do some combinate. You can do that. You can do one of these. As you turn level two, like really tell your teammate, like I am mm -hmm. in, like I am yeah. serious because your teammates, they're like leaves in the breeze, dude, leaves in the breeze. <laughs> they don't have a plan. They just coexist. Yeah. So <clears throat> in conclusion today, I don't mind where you're at. And you said you haven't been playing that long. I think you're a little stiff and you don't have to be. I think a lot of that rigidity comes from the fact that you are new and you're just kind of like, I don't know if this is... <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if I should be yeah. going for crazy shit here. Um, yeah, you have I think to start. A lot of it just comes down to, I don't know how to make a plan yet. <laughs> like, I just have like very basic, like, I'm going to push this minion wave and auto <laughs> them if they get close. <laughs> That's about as far as I, let as me, far as I go. And before I let you go, let me um, reiterate one thing too about pushing because you'd asked about that and I kind of yeah. glossed over it. So your goal is to, Try to anytime, anytime that a position feels good, keep it. Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. Yasuo couldn't farm because the wave was near our tower. So it was shitty for him to farm. It was not safe. Yeah. Zyra mm -hmm. might combo him. However, if you tried that free shit versus poke lane, what would have happened? They're just going to sit there from the bush and like Mac is so with abilities and stuff. What you would do then, don't freeze it. Just let him have the mm -hmm. shove, right? Yeah. Now, the same rules apply, though, to you. If you're looking at a, a situation and you're like, ooh, this is kind of a shitty situation and I don't think I'm really going to dive them or get anything done, just jam the wave. Just get it mm -hmm. out of your face, right? If yeah. it looks like you're, if it feels like things are going well, just last hit. Just last yeah. hit. Try to instead think, I'm going to just last hit until my next wave gets here and then I'm just going to crash the whole thing in either roam or back mm -hmm. or whatever. Keep it simple for now so that you can get used to that feeling of what it feels like to just last hit. That's what I'm trying to get yeah. you to start doing. I always talk about offense, defense on these things. Your mm -hmm. pressure, if what's scarier to the other team, if they see you and your support in three minions or you and your support in 12 minions? They're just going to clear the three minions and like two auto attacks. And then anyway. they're going to turn on you, right? And you, yeah. in that, it, it's not to say that, and I want to be clear, it's not to say that it's impossible to kill people with like a few minions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm just saying that at your level, I would rather you just build a giant wave and go, okay, I, I need to, you know, I need to walk this big wave in and then pressure. But also remember, when you're walking that giant wave in, pressure hard. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? If you start losing, you just walk backwards. They can't follow. That's the key. So I know I talked your ear off a, a lot tonight. Did you retain anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, good session tonight, man. It was a lot of fun. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, let, let me know in like a, a couple weeks. Like message me. And just let me know how your climb's going. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll do. Peace.